Today we're going to do a walkthrough of uh, all the buildings that are part of the Sweet and Snowmobile Museum. We'll start with what I call the main barn. My father worked for uh, Rupp back in the late 60s and early 70s as a Western States sales manager. And so I grew up with Rupp and uh, I have uh, right here a representation of every year Rupp from 66. all the way through their final production year, which was 1978. Here I just have one model from each model year. Uh, I have over 100 reps in my collection. That we'll see some of those a little later on. And then 78 was the last production year for rep. Here I have the fiberglass for the Super Snow Sport. The Super Snow Sport was the uh, drag racer that uh, Rupp built in 1969 to compete for the Speed record. I got to sit in that when I was seven years old in our driveway. Uh, my dad took it up to West Yellowstone to have him run for the speed record there. It, it looked a lot faster than it was, unfortunately. Rupp Centaur, Rupp Gojo, Rupster, which was one of my favorite Rupps back when it came out in 69. I have a lot of my father's snowmobile suits and original memorabilia. Uh, over here I have a lot of, uh, a few early Polarises and then a lot of racers. Snowjet Thunderjet, Mercury Snow Twister, Arctic Cat Z. And down here I have uh, vintage racers that I've raced. Yeah, some of those, that's a Yamaha and a Skew that are painted to be like a rep because I have to race reps. This is 75. Nitro Free Air Super Stock uh, that I raced uh, in Utah and also back in Wisconsin at Eagle River. My favorite movie of all time is Snowball Express. I have uh, original movie posters and then reproductions of the original sleds. The original sleds were destroyed after a few years after the movie was made. I have the Ridgeway Special, the Mighty Mongrel, Jesse hanging on back. We've raced these in vintage races and taken them to a lot of shows. I uh, sent pictures to Dean Jones and uh, before he passed away, he sent me back a little thank you letter. I have a lot of other movie memorabilia from that. Um, it's not a snowmobile, but I have a 1923 Model T limo, but it's fun to take in parades and take the grandkids all out. Uh, more Rupp memorabilia. My father got the opportunity to uh, give a snowmobile to Roy Rogers, and I got to go with him in uh, 1971. He wanted to ride it on his farm there in Apple Valley. Got some uh, Rupp mini bikes, Roadster 2, Black Widow. Waiter RMT 80, Mini Gojo, and there's some just uh, some various other reps and some of the trophies from racing. Okay, so that'll do it for the, the main barn. We'll move on to the other buildings. Now we're going to tour my branding barn. In here, I have 90 different brands of snowmobiles. And we'll just kind of do a review through, and uh, then I'll, I might point out a few, but I won't point out every machine. You can just take a look at the video. Here's a very unique one. This is a 1960 MSV Hustler. It's one of only two machines that were built in Utah. This was uh, built in Salt Lake. We only know of three or four of these that exist. Obviously not out of different brands. They're identified 211 brands that were ever built in the United States and Canada that are track driven and ski steered. Uh, it'd be kind of nice to have all of them someday, but that would be hard to do because some of them only build a handful. Uh, machines like the 
snowblazer and the snow bike over there. They built less than 10, so. Almost every company in the late 60s and early 70s built snowmobiles. Uh, John Deere, Sears, Montgomery Ward, Evandrew, Johnson, Harley Davidson, Coleman. Grand Prix was kind of unique steering butterfly style handlebars. The Phantom, as far as I know, was the only snowmobile ever be built in uh, West Virginia. That's all original. And then actually probably my favorite is the Bonham. It was built in Provo just a few miles from here. Uh, Ralph Bonham, Bonham Industries, built that along with the tote goat. Tote goat's very well known, but not very many people know about the snowmobile, and we only know of about six of those in existence. The rover was built from all rep parts. The gentleman wanted Mick Rep to build a snowmobile for him, and he said, no, but I'll sell you parts. And so only a handful of those exist as well. Early Arctic Cat. Allied Hustler had a really unique windshield. And then small snow was the Swinger, some of X, and Snow Prince Jr. Home Light was built by Polaris in Afton, Wyoming. The Shark was built in Colorado. Snow Pony, kind of a unique little snowmobile. Yard man made a little snowmobile. This Super Savage um, was actually the last snowmobile restored by Jerry Kimbaum before he passed away. And the Husky, which later was bought by Bullens, became the Diablo Rouge. The Snow Coop, this is the original first Snow Coop built. And they'd go, they went around with this to different shows trying to get dealers. Kind of a unique concept that never really took off, uh, having it enclosed. It was actually built on a Polaris Super Voyager chassis that they purchased from Polaris, just in the chassis form, and on the caribou. So that's the end of our branding barn. We'll move on from here. This is uh, my Rupp barn. Everything in here was built by Rupp, uh, not just snowmobiles, but anything that Rupp built. Uh, more Rupsters like we saw in the first building. Rupp mini bikes. Uh, they built some pretty cool mini bikes. Mick Rupp was uh, in 1959 was runner up to Indy uh, Rookie of the Year to Mario Andretti. And he built little mini bikes to run around the pits. And everybody saw them and wanted them. So they started those actually before they started doing snowmobiles. They also built... Uh, Little Jeep for a Jeep and a little Monza that was to commemorate the 68 Corvette. Just uh, lots more reps. Okay, we'll move on to uh, rep, build, rep barn number two. Okay, now we're going into rep barn number two. These are all reps of part of the uh, my collection, trying to collect one of every year and model made. Um, all, pretty much all these need to be restored still, but uh, that'll come over time. Seventy six Magnum two fifty, seventy six Magnum four forty. 
Need to get to restoring those sometime. So that will uh, end our tour of the Sweet and Stumblebee Museum, all four buildings. And uh, thanks for watching.